Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and today we're gonna to be going over the all new 2020 Chevy 1500 Trail Boss. They just barely released this new package for 2019, and we are already to the second model year. But as always, we're gonna do a quick walk around on the truck, then we're gonna take it out to see how it drives. A big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller, Chevy here in Murray, Utah, for providing us with the truck. If you're in the market for a new Chevy, check out their inventory in the link below. Under the hood of this Trail Boss, we have a naturally aspirated 5.3 liter V8 that has 355 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque. That is all routed through a six-speed automatic transmission. And then in terms of fuel economy, it's gonna be good for 14 around town and then 18 on the highway. Now let's finish things on the front end of the Trail Boss, which is pretty much my favorite angle of this truck. I love all the blacked out accents and then stuff like the red tow hooks but anyways this is a kind of like entry level trail boss so you've got your regular halogen lights up front the whole grill is blacked out you've got the chevy logo that goes across the grill like i said red tow hooks down below and then you can see a little bit more aggressive off-road tires with the trail boss as well and then i love this kind of like little venting here on the side i think it's a nice nice touch around the side here we have these 20 inch painted aluminum wheels i think they have a really nice aesthetic to them and then pretty standard setup so 275 millimeter on the tires and they are a little bit more aggressive tires but you can get even more aggressive than this from the factory so this one over here happens to be a 2019 trail boss and you can see that you can get a little bit more aggressive tires from the factory if you want so you can get those Goodyear Wrangler tires but anyways let's head back over to the uh, 2020 trail boss here is our key fob for the trail boss you get a couple functions your lock and unlock tailgate release and remote start if we hold this down that'll start up that 5.3 liter V8 you can hear that come to life press that again that'll shut it off and if you press this button twice that's what will do the tailgate function on it so basically unlocks it and does the lowering function as you can see right there and then you can see that you've got some bed liner already on the back of this you can get bed liner from the factory inside of the truck as well you can see those little led bed lights on either side of the truck and then the window on this particular one is going to be fixed since this is an entry level trail boss finally Picking up the tailgate is really, really light and easy to get into place. And then you can see that you've got Chevrolet on the back. Silverado says custom on it. And then finally we can pop down below. We can see the dual outlet exhaust for the 5.3 liter V8 tow package. And then right next to the license plate, you've got all the hookups for towing. And then you still do get this little step here on the side so it makes it easier to get in and out of the bed. And now, for real, finally, I love these new taillights on these Chevys. I think that's its best touch in terms of lighting elements. So, coming around to the back right here, we can see that there's some soft touch right here. And then you've got your rest of your door panel. You get your little window control with the door handle, which I actually like the feel of the door handles on these Chevys. But anyways, here are the seats in the truck. And you can see that it's cloth seats on the truck. You do get rubber floor mats just down below. You've got a couple of vents right there. And then you can pick up these seats to see that there is a flat loading floor for the truck on top of that. But other than that, they keep things pretty simple in this entry level trail boss. Now around to the front right here, we can see more of that soft touch on the door and then you've got the handle on the front here with the actual door handle, lock and unlock all of your mirror controls right there, window controls. And then over to the seat, you're gonna note this is fully manually adjustable, not power, manually adjustable cloth seats as well. I kind of like the design on the middle of the cloth right there. You can see the bolsters on it. And then just down below, you can see the hood latch release. This is for your parking brake. And then you've got all of your light controls right here. You can just leave that in automatic mode. Cargo light, that is for your trailer tow mode. And then you've got your auto two wheel high, four wheel high, and then four wheel low for the different drive mode selects. And then the steering wheel is going to be manually adjustable. Now stepping into the trail boss, step and height's actually pretty easy to get in and out of, but to start it up, just put your key fob in and the truck will start right up. The gauges will do a little bit of a sweep. If you are all about simplistic things and you just want an off-road truck, this entry level trail boss is gonna be the truck for you. Chevy logo on the center, cruise control, nothing else. That is all. Super, super simple steering wheel. And then you've got like your turn signal stock with the windshield wiper functions. And then over here, you've got your 
column shifter that you can shift the gears manually yourself if you would like. So we've got our gauge cluster set up right here. You can see the RPMs over on the left side. On the right side, you can see the speed, and then you've got a couple of gauges like your fuel gauge. Now this little center screen confused me for a second because I kept pressing this and nothing was happening, but you have to twist it. So if you twist it, that's what scrolls through these uh, little menus right here. That's kind of an interesting quirk. I have never seen that before. They usually have a button on the steering wheel, so that little thing is interesting. Here is our center touchscreen. Note that it does have the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, even in this entry level truck package, but you can see that the touchscreen response time is actually really solid in general, and I mean, they keep things really simple. Other than that, radio controls, phone controls, you've got a little backup camera with trajectory lines, and you've got a trailer mode too that you can use so that there's just a line straight in the middle but I mean other than that there's no crazy fancy gadgets or gizmos they just keep it all simple and easy and just down below we've got our analog controls for the radio and then you've got your analog climate controls just down below that and then over here you've got your stability control hazard lights tailgate release and then hill descent control and then all this area is where you can get other switches but they just put these blank switch things here anyways trailer brakes there you've got a couple USBs and a 12 volt and then this is where the power outlet goes but since this is an entry level it just has kind of another seal over that area here we've got cup holders and then you can put your little phone right there and then you've got leather on the top of this and then you can fold this seat up basically to be a bench seat and then there is no storage underneath the seat it's just seat cup holders on the top and yeah Keeping things simple again. And then finally, we've got a dual glove box. So you can see that you can open both of these up for extra storage right there. Now we've got all of our lights up here and then you can see you got some lights in the rear, but other than that, they've got a little like speaker thing for the Bluetooth and yeah, again, theme of this truck, simple and easy. Now let's wrap things up on the 2020 Chevy Trail Boss. And finally, in terms of pricing, this truck stickers for right around $46,000 before any type of market adjustment. Um, if you don't add any options onto the truck, like this one has like the trailer brakes optioned onto it, and then those 20 inch wheels, all that starting price is $41,000, which I feel like for an off-road four x four truck is a pretty good value. Anyways, that all being said, let's take the 2020 Trail Boss out to see how it drives. Now before we set off in the 2020 Chevy Trail Boss, let's talk about visibility. So visibility over the hood, it's pretty easy to see. The hood is raised a little bit, which gets in the way slightly, but it's not bad by any means. You can see visibility throughout that mirror. I like that they have a blind spot mirror on that side. And then you can see visibility throughout the other mirror and then through the rear as well. But now that we've kind of checked all that, let's set off. Now, as you can see, we are fully setting off here in the Trail Boss and they really haven't changed Anything that I can see so far since 2019, ride quality feels identical. It's got that two inch lift from the factory and I mean, it's just all feels pretty much the same. So ride quality still smooth, even though it's an off-road truck and these less aggressive tires compared to the last Trail Boss that I drove definitely make ride quality a little bit smoother. And then in terms of road noise, it's a pretty well insulated cabin in general. You're not gonna hear a whole lot around you and Again, I'm gonna say this, it feels the same as the 2019. So as we are turning here, steering is still the same as what it was before. So very, very light and effortless, um, relatively direct for a truck, but I mean, it's pretty standard for the truck segment in terms of steering feel and then directness. Let's get a little acceleration with this 5.3. Acceleration is decent with the 5.3. Um, the only thing that I have to say though is I just wish that they would pair the 10 speed automatic with this 5.3 and just all the trucks across the board. It's kind of an interesting thing that Chevy uses multiple transmissions in their um, half ton trucks essentially. So I think they should just make things all the same. Use that 10 speed, it's a great unit. Really smooth gear shifts. But other than that, power delivery is pretty decent. Um, that being said though, also, I would just rather have the 6.2. That 6.2 is such a strong motor. Fuel economy is 
pretty much identical to this 5.3 it tows better as well so that's kind of the motor i would go for if um, you've got the dough to pay for the extra little bit that it costs now let's sum things up on this 2020 trail boss like I said before, so far I can't really find anything different between this and the 2019. So I still feel like this is a solid off-road offering if that's kind of what you're wanting to use the truck for, especially with that two inch lift from the factory so that you've got the truck with a little bit higher ground clearance, but then that lift is covered under manufacturer warranty, which I think is a good value. But in general, this truck, I mean, it's pretty inexpensive, $46,000. And if you don't add anything like the uh, 20 inch rims, for example, then you're looking at $41,000 for a brand new off-road truck. I feel like that's a pretty good deal in general. So if you are in the market for an off-road package truck, check out the 2019 or this new 2020 Chevy Trail Boss. And there we have it, everyone, the 2020 Chevy 1500 Trail Boss. I will most likely be getting a review out on something a little bit more loaded up, similar to that truck right there with the cool tires. But as always, Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you thought, and then a big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller, Chevy here in Murray, Utah for providing us with the truck. Check out their inventory in the link below if you're in the market for a new Chevy.